King Charles III is dead. In my Crusader Kings 3 game where I'm trying to take a Charles from being Prince of Wales to the King of England. And we haven't done it yet. Can his successor or successors do any better? The story continues. It's fine, I don't need to turn into interests, but... If they spread and change this holy site to not be Catholic, then that could be a bit of a problem. Um, Earl Charles II's feudal taxes are increased, sure. Actually, I mean, that will cause problems, because he'll like me less. My lord, it has come to my attention that there is room for a church in your domains. My cousin, the charming Earl Charles, whose parents are Charlie Fine. I don't think I named this child, but... Anyway, if you build one, you will surely have the Lord's gratitude as well as mine. Uh, how does one build a church? I promise that. I think... Um... I mean, Ludlow should clearly have a castle. But... Anyone... Anyone know how one builds a church? Construct a new holding. And then you can choose a temple. First stage, this holding is the shrine. But the Welsh culture requires city planning. Which we do not have. Where is city planning? All the way back here. Hmm. Or maybe after this one's complete in about six months, then we'll go for that. But it may not happen quickly enough. Is there a temple? It's like this is already a temple. Upgrade it. House of Worship, Grand Temple. I suppose it's fine. It counts as a church, right? If I'm gonna do this. So what's the difference? Yes, and that requires, to upgrade that requires the one that I'm currently searching, uh, researching. Fine. Well, worst case, I break his promise, and it's like 10. 10 opinion. Um, do I not already have a weak hook on this guy? Fine, give, give me your opinion then. So yes, there is now a dangerous faction. Okay, also, this sway has stopped. So we will abandon that, and we'll see. I mean, he's still wanting to, to do some claims there. But the, these two... So he's providing more of the soldiers. 23 months. Let's start swaying him. 71% chance. Okay, what if we sway the other guy? 61. Hmm. Hopefully that works. Who knows if it will. Fascination discovered. Right. Okay, so let's choose a new fascination. The city planning one 
probably makes the most sense because that was stopping us. Um, 14 years. Okay, fine. So I don't know them. And if someone does, please feel free to tell me. If I upgrade this, does this count as the same as, you know, fulfilling that guy's wishes? We'll see. Five years? Wow. Okay. So we should also host that feast because we need people to like us. No one likes me. So, feast begins. Mutual spirits. Sus as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Duke, this guy. We spoke all evening about all manner of subjects, and as things would have would have it, we seem to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with him. Okay. Is that the guy I'm trying to sway? Yes. Excellent. Maybe you could stop that faction against me. Disaster. The wine. It's gone bad. All gone bad. So we can pay, or we can spend the prestige. I suppose we have the gold, but we also have the prestige. Let's keep gold for now. As my guests depart, uh, my wife is the MVP. We also have a perk here, right? So which of these um, embrace celibacy, abandon celibacy decisions. Uh, wash your hands. Yeah, let's not get it all. And I guess I'm really pious, so maybe I should just go on a pilgrimage. Although, something's happening back here. Um, make him more susceptible, I should mention. What is this guy? He is calm. He is brave. He is cynical. Youthful vigor, maybe not. Handsome appearance. Uh, I don't know. How old is he? 24. And he's not necessarily ugly. Assertive presence. Assertive, because he is calm and brave, maybe. Fearless planner. I don't know. I mean, he is youthful. He is healthy. Prepare for the journey. Um... Ooh, Jerusalem is quite expensive. Vatican or Cologne. Well, I think last time we went to to Cologne with a, with the previous King Charles. So this one, it's only fifty odd gold more. This one can splash the cash. Benefit from increased communication. Excellent. So I must have done something right in that letter, even though I had no idea which one to choose. Still. I, how can I get the trait bill? Right, I cannot go on like this. Uh, I just started washing hands. You can't become ill. I have come across a book describing how ancient monastics used trances and visions of ecstasy to communi commune with heaven. It seems a strange practice in our modern age, modern, but perhaps there is something to be learned from them. You test the mystical practices. Is that going to take me down like druidism or something? You attempt to learn, about more, uh, learn more about the practice through the books. Let's keep reading, because we're a learned fellow. Pilgrimage, the mystic. 
Did I not say I was turning back? He's one of the stranger people I have met on this journey. He seems to be a firm believer, but also expounds on the true nature of God and what it all means. At night, his tent is lit up by a candle within, and occasionally strange chanting and unusual incense flows from it. I am wholly unprepared when Peter bids me to enter. <laughs> this all smells of heresy to me. Okay. Um, eh, let's just go in the tent. I, the more I dig into the ancient text, the more I discover could the mysterious practices of the ancient monastics predate even Christianity itself? I mean, possibly. Something remarkable. So, increase learning by one, and a lifestyle perk. Uh, a lifestyle perk. You attempt to learn more about the practice through books. Should I not just take that? I'll just take that. Um, which we can then spend. Uh, we want disease resistance and fertility increase, sure. Especially if I'm ill. Uh, inside the tent, I'm greeted by strong smells and overwhelming hot and heavy air. It is important that we turn our gaze within ourselves, he explains, and takes a seat. I want you to close your eyes and focus, as I do. Let God flow through you. Reach the ecstasy of the divinity. You experience the ecstasy of the divinity, which I can do because of my learning skill. Only smart people can feel the connection of the Lord. Um, this is so comfortable, I might just fall asleep. You engage in the mystic in debate. Sure, because I'm learning. Is that just from before? After following Count Peter's instructions, it can I can see it all much clearly. I can feel it. God, the world has all been cursing through my or coursing through my veins, my body, through my soul. When I emerge from the ten hours later, I have a new understanding of myself and of life. I am now a wise man. Um So I think the uh, the guy I'm swaying, his faction has now disbanded, because he likes me enough. Propose an alliance. To the impressive King Charles, despite our lack of bonds by blood, I believe we both stand to gain from an alliance. Do we? Was this my friend? I felt maybe like I had the, this guy as my friend at one point. Maybe. I don't know. Um, how many troops you got? 9,848. Yeah, I'll accept that. I mean, how have I got that many troops? Lots of levies, though. This has turned into Norway rather than Sweden. So there's potential. Maybe I need to start thinking about my next war. Uh, feast at the court in Worcester? Sure, be my pleasure. I mean, you don't hate me, so sure. Um, how are my children doing? Do they all have guardians? Yes, I set them all up before. So, yes, maybe we should start exploring the next war. I'm no longer ill, that's good. Didn't like being ill in the first place. So, Leinster is a holy wall. That is a holy wall. 
This would be a holy war against Northumbria, but... It's one that we've done a couple times. We could go for another duchy. Take the last bit of Northumbria, or we could take East Anglia. Although that would be disconnected. Um, Mon is kind of outside England, so not interested in that just for now. Ulster or Norway. So I do have some claims. I could seize the Earldom of Lincolnshire because I've got the rest of the duchy. Um, we'll get back to you because this guy wants to talk to me. Uh, I've been studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars, and they all seem to agree that the world will end in 6,000 years after its creation. By my calculations, we are less than a century away. Uh, however, the uh, Archbishop urges me to keep it to myself, leave it to the clergy and avoid punch. What if your calculations are wrong? So everyone deserves to know the truth. Could lead to cynicism. A reasonable point. Celesis. I should consult with more priests. Do you still like me? Yeah, you like me. So... I don't need the prestige or piety or the, the opposite. Let's just take the learning experience. Um, Here, so yes, we, we have claims. We should pause it whilst things are going on. Um, Do we want to Push for the Earldom of Staffordshire, which is someone else's claim, or seize the Earldom of Lincolnshire because it fits into the Duchy of that thing, which I own. I suppose we could go for that. He has allies, does he? Yes. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So, we have declared war. Um, what I would like to do is raise my troops, like, here. I think there is a way to do it. You go to, like, military... Add... A new rally point. Okay. And then you click the rally point and you say raise all here. Great. That's pretty easy to do. Education at an end. My ward, Charles, has come of age and it's time that he left my care. With sufficient tutelage. Blah, blah, blah. I can come to truly understand its usage. So he is a intricate web weaver. He's my cousin. Not my son, then. What is the supply limit? A new perk. So what do we want? Carefree. Mental breakdowns. Uh, celibacy. I'm not sure any of those are really useful at this time, but we want to get down to healthy. So let's go with stress gain. Reduction. Um, that siege pro progress is slow. I have a feeling they may have taken to the seas and they're going to go all the way over here. So maybe I'm just going to send this guy back. That's generally what the, uh, the AI likes to do. You just head straight for your... Um, your homeland, your realm capital. Shit. 
Charlotte comes of age. I'll see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. And she has become, well, she was always intelligent, but she is a charismatic negotiator. So let's find a spouse. I assume I, I do have the one ally. It's a pretty good ally to have. One which I don't even need for this war. Which is fine. Don't need uh, to call in your ally every time. So, um, but this is my first daughter, so relatively important in terms of uh, family. So let's make this matrilineal. Um, and I don't know, who do we think? This lustful patient, paranoid person? Let's see if there's some super smart people. Lustful, generous, diligent. I like it. grow up so fast and then you marry them away immediately thick as thieves as of late I often see my son and heir my uncle around the castle deep in conversation they seem to, uh, to have found a common ground uh, bloom cannot be up to any good or I can try and get in, but we'll just let them have their fun. Assuming that they're not plotting to kill me, everything's good there. So, I suppose maybe the Norway troops went home to Norway to do something? I don't know. But we are closing in on... Oh no, they're coming back. Changing mind. Daughter Liz has been asking me for a pet rabbit for a long time, and I told her I would get one for her in three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. She simply waved my offer away, saying she did not really care about that anymore. Fickle, uh, or content, or trusting. I am not too sure that, well, they're all not great, so it's fine. Not the main heir. Not the main problem. Right. You as well. We're both going to attack. Surely my numbers should do it for me. Yes. No. My counsellor William died. Prince William? Oh dear, I've spent so long trying to make you my friend. I mean, like me. Or no, you're the one who like weaseled his way into being my spy master. But still, you're a good spy master. Um, and you could be the spy master. Yes, so we'll make you the spy master if we reassign, and then we will bring in Prince Harry. To be our steward. Why is our marshal? Well, you're the yeah best option of the powerful vassals. I think that's why I did it. Still, did I? It says victory, and yet, oh no, it's just it looked like the number here was closer to me. Um, I should split these guys up. Leave one here and one only here. We'll see where they go. My daughter-in-law has given birth to a daughter. So this is my player heir. 
Prince Charles, son of Charles, son of Charles, son of Charles, son of Charles. And their first daughter. As all good first daughters of this dynasty will be called Charlotte. Differences in faith. In the Eldom of Ephrog, they believe in Asatru and they do not pray to God. Condemns its heresy, but the people ask for understanding. I'm not zealous, am I? Wrathful, vengeful. Yeah, religious understanding, I think, works best. So they're at war with these people as well. Right, well, let's go squish them. Squish that, squish that. Okay, hold on. Nice. I mean, yeah, you could follow them. But I think we'll follow the bigger army. And we'll get you. Charlie comes of age. So this is my second son? Yes. I mean, I just know that from the name. And how have you done? You are a tough soldier. Intelligent? Yeah, I mean, you're not too bad. You're probably going to end up as a knight. Let's find you a good wife, shall we? Um... A beautiful wife, maybe. Beautiful or a genius? I don't. This person is deceitful and stubborn, but is missing a third. Or it's just hidden. So, I mean, he's going to be probably disfigured from all the battles he's in, so giving him a patient, temperate, beautiful wife is. Although she's getting on an age. Okay. Let's go with the genius then. And we will go with that. Grow up so fast. Thank you. Okay. Probably doesn't need your help, but... Spit. So, I have a choice to make Liz keep vengeful, or she can be deceitful, or she can be calm. But, well, she's going to be around. I don't want her to be vengeful, but equally, I don't have that much stress. Okay, let's make her calm. Um, this army, where are you going? Drop here instead. Yeah, across the river then. Now attack. 
Why is that only... Okay. That's maybe a mistake then. Stone of glass. So, this is me needing glasses again. I'm not going to sell everything which is impossible to read, because we're quite a smart fellow. I don't need him to have a hook on me. So we will just pay. Ah, oh, how could you lose? There's only like 10 of them there. You're going to lose as well. Okay, fine. Just go back. Ridiculous. Anyway, we have a perk which I've been ignoring. Um, we'll take the mental break. Uh, the break on the mental break. Now, having a spy master who hates you is not a good idea. So, let's put my player air as my spy master. Because worst case, he kills me like my previous uh, air did to one of my characters. Right. If it's free, I will call my house member. And who do these people belong to? Norway. No. We'll let them rock for a bit more then. Infiltrators. It has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to wherever that is in Wales and the capital of the uh, guy that I'm trying to sway. Locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, not really, because I could just give him that gold. Need to get you back over here. Okay, and with both of you, you should be able to win. But alone, apparently, you can't. Child of my dynasty. Right, so this is Charlie, my second son, who's already had a baby. Congratulations. Oh, uh, sorry. A granddaughter of genius. And as ever, first child. Or first uh, girl. I don't know what's going on. No immediate effects. I feel like that was choosing something else. What is your child called? Charlotte. Okay. We're at 99%. Enforce my demands. And I've gained a favour hook on Duke Harry. Have I? Did I do it for him? Oh, he's the Duke. Fine. I guess that makes sense. So it doesn't come into... Well, who is now the Earl of Lincolnshire? The same... Guy? I don't know. Maybe it went to Harry and he has given it to someone of his choosing. So, where are we now? Uh, prisoners could be ransomed. Go on then. Ransom. Ransom. Hook's expiring soon. What can I do? 
prison, revoke title. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to do any of those things. Modify contracts, but again, I'd rather people liked me. But I suppose they do. Um, not as much. That's fine. Um. Okay. We should let the land recover for a bit. Have factions coming in and out of this. I did manage to sway this guy, but we won't try and sway him again. Um, so who do I want to sway next? People creating factions. Like, this guy really hates me. And he's never going to be on the, the council. He doesn't like me, but let's just assume that he'll be dead soon. That's what I normally do. Um, sure. Lord. Oh. It's become my marshal and cannot be fired. Right, well then you're going to be doing a rubbish job. Fix the control there. It's slightly annoying. Because now I've got... People... Well, powerful vassals. No, it's still the same number. Maybe if they force themselves on, then it doesn't hurt that. Not too sure. I have a little bit of stress, and I'd like people to like me, so let's host a feast. Deep in conversation, she inquires about my opinion on tome collections, something she's deeply interested in. She is a vassal, so let's just talk about her. As the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, approaches me. Marvelous feast. All compliments to my wife. Because let's face it, she organised it. I just clicked a button. And as they depart, I get great opinion, and I am now an eager reveller, which gives me diplomacy, intrigue, and opinion of other revelers. Excellent. So I could war for this uh, this county now. Probably makes sense to. My alliance has expired though, don't they? A perk is good. Just, well, I'm not sure I need the alliance until he starts bringing in other people. Then I will. So let's continue up this tree. How old are we? War declared. Oh dear. Conquest of the Earldom of Efrog. Which is all the way up here. And who is doing this to me? Um, I have just realised that I do actually hold some land all the way over here. You know, like from someone a long time ago who probably uh, had inheritance. Odd. This is part of the Duke's lands. Okay. And there's Duchy of Essex. 
Really? Essex is in Germany? Or is that Switzerland? Austria. Salzburg. Essex. Salzburg. Essex. Of course that makes sense. Um, or not. I still don't know the attackers. There's quite a lot of them. Um, where are you from? Here. That tiny bit of red. And you have that many troops. Okay. Well, I think what we might do, because I've been streaming for quite a long time, is call it here for today. Um, our journey from Charles, the Prince of Wales, to King of England has been making some progress. We definitely could be doing better. Um, thank you uh, to everyone who has been watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a follow. Um, otherwise, well, just thanks for being here anyway. Um, I will probably be back tomorrow to continue this. Um, but yeah, thank you for all of your support. And I'll wish you a happy evening or morning or night, wherever you are. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.